Good morning guys, Jordan here from Artisan Electrics. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, thanks for watching. I hope you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button so you don't miss out on future content. And don't forget to activate the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. So today I'm back here in this beautiful oak studio that's being built and um, I've been busy here all day yesterday but I didn't get a chance to film. So today I'm just gonna show you around and show you what I've been up to. Um, so you can see the scaffold tower behind me here. Right up there high in the eaves, I put in a cable for the light. There's gonna be this amazing Dyson uh, up and down light, which is gonna be hanging down from there. But getting the cable in was quite tricky. So what I had to do is drill a hole up there, drill another hole up here, and there's basically uh, this ply boarding, then there's insulation on top of it, and then there's these metal roof sheets. So what I actually did is drilled up at an angle through the insulation, and then I managed to feed the armored cable up over the insulation all the way up using my cable rods. And then I managed to fish it out at the other end with the little magnet and the little beads, which are always really handy, and just pull the cable down through there. I've put a metal conduit box up there to terminate the armoured into, and then I've left the inner, she in inner cable a lot longer so that it can go to the gear that's gonna be up there for the LED light. Um, all the cabling's in now, so you can see behind me here, we've got a lot of cables armoured cables in now for the various lights so I've been running them up the edge and just clipping them I've gone through here and we've got two cables for the lights because there's going to be these LED strips which are going to go in these channels once the the upper mezzanines are boarded the LED lights are going to go along in there so those are all cabled in all my socket boxes are in now and cabled, so ready to put some sockets on. And actually, I've received the socket faces, which are these really nice Hamilton um, brushed stainless steel ones, which are screwless. I think it's the Hamilton CFX range. Really nice, so I'm gonna be putting those on later. Um, the customer has started insulating and boarding everything. So you can see he's got all the Kingspan uh, Ecotherm insulation, Celotex, whatever you call it, in here. And what he's been doing is just putting these plastic membranes over the backs of the sockets just to stop any moisture getting through and damaging or corroding the back boxes. And then he's putting normal rock wool insulation in here. And this side, you're gonna see the kind of finished effect now. So this is oak cladding that he's been putting on. It's like feather edge board basically, but oak. He, he's boarded all this side yesterday and I must say it looks really, really beautiful. We've got an outside light going up here. So it's gonna be just like a little down spotlight, industrial style type thing, uh, which he's made a nice little oak plate for for us to mount it on. The only thing is it's gonna be tricky actually terminating the armored cable into that, so I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that yet. And then really today, my main job is now to do the DB. Uh, yesterday I got all these cables in for the sockets up here. All the data cabling's in as well. So I've got two Cat5 sockets to go in with armored data cable. And this is the meter box, so I got this mounted up yesterday. It's a nice um, metal IP65 enclosure. And what we've done is just put some uh, two before around it to, to hold it in place and then screwed in from the sides. So there's no penetrations in the top and there's no way that uh, any kind of water can get in. And then inside I've got my Hager consumer unit at the top with an SPD 
and eight usable ways. So I'm gonna be starting to terminate the outgoing cables today. What I've done is I'm taking all the cables in the bottom here. So where they actually come out of the building, they're gonna come out underneath the feather edge boarding. And then just for a little way, they're gonna be external and then they're gonna loop up into this box and I'm gonna drill out all the holes in the bottom of this enclosure, put compression glands in for most of the cables and then take the armored cable straight through and terminate them into this consumer unit. For the lighting, we've got Lutron controls going in. So I'm gonna put the Lutron controllers in here and then I've got a data socket to go in here as well, which will act like a mini patch panel so that the main data feed from the house will come into here and then they can patch in the internal data sockets. Um, so this is the main feed that's terminated now. That's a 10 mil three core SWA on a 40 amp br breaker. It's a fairly long run. Um, so, but 40 amps will be plenty for this building. They've not got any electric heating or anything like that going in. Uh, I probably am going to put in an earth electrode for the installation you can see that here it's quite far from the building and it is a pme supply as far as i can tell although it's a bit weird because it's on an overhead um it's on an overhead line so it should be a tt but there is a connection between the neutral and the earth at the uh, supplier's intake so it seems like it's been pme even though there's no sticker so just to be safe i'm probably going to put an earth electrode in for this installation and then that's done um, I'll show you the Lutron stuff I've got, got to go in. Oh, these are the aluminium profiles for the LED lights. So we've got LED strip, bespoke cut and soldered LED strip. Um, this is the outside light that's going to go on. So as you can see, there's not much space to actually terminate an armoured cable in the back of there. So I might just have to strip it back to the armoring and just earth the armoring from the other end. But that's a nice little industrial light that's gonna go on the outside. Lutron. So I don't know if you've seen it, but I did a, a previous video about Lutron controls. They're really, really amazing. Basically it enables you to control all the lighting from your smartphone, have it all automated. And these are the Lutron RA2 Select dimming modules. So basically for each set of lights, I'm gonna have one of these. There will be four in total, three for the internal lights and one for the external lights. And I'm gonna just mount these in the board here like this, just in a row, and then loop in and out with the, the feeds, feed in, feed outs for these put some kind of junction box inside to neaten up all the cabling. And then there's a kind of a hub that needs to go in to do the actual uh, processing of the signals and everything to, to tell the lights what to do and connect through to the internet. So it's gonna be a really smart little studio and the lighting's gonna be great when it's all done. But yeah, my main job today is just to get all this in, terminate all these armored cables. As you can see, there's quite a lot uh, to, to be done. So I'm just gonna try and do this and get it as neat as possible. It's quite a tight space, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So it takes a little bit of planning to get it all really nice, but uh, hopefully it'll be a good result.
Okay, so I'm getting there now, slowly but surely. I've got all these cables up into the box with compression glands, so that's all done. Um, I've still got to figure out how to terminate all these armoureds. Five of these are lighting cables and then two of these are data cables. And I've got another data cable to come in from the main building to provide the main data feed into here. Uh, I've got to figure out how to terminate the armoureds for the lighting in here, whether I terminate them into the DB and then put a separate enclosure for the Lutron controls. Um, because I'm going to have four Lutron controllers, so I'm going to need four permanent feeds and then four cables coming out to connect onto these. So I've got to figure that out. Uh, DB is in to the point where at least I can um, liven up the radial circuits for the sockets. I've got a 32 amp breaker here, which is spare at the moment, but that's going to provide a 32 amp commando socket, which is going to go on the side of this and then the six amp for the lighting circuit and I just need to put some blanks in there. I've got this earth coming out, which is gonna go to a earth rod, which I've got to put in in a bit before I liven it all up. Uh, and then in terms of the sockets, I'm just busy now going around putting all the socket faces on. So quite pleased with these Hamilton sockets. They look quite neat actually. Hamilton CFX screwless range in brushed stainless steel with black inserts. Um, very, very smart. So I'm quite pleased with those. And that one over there, I've got the data socket, which has gone in. Um, I, I was really, really careful when cutting in the boxes in this plywood, and that has paid off now, the extra time and attention that I put into being careful because it's meant that I've been able to get them all perfectly level and when you look around the edges, there are no marks or anything like that. They just fit really nicely and flush onto the wood. So it was worth all that extra effort uh, doing that. And also having the deep back boxes really helped as well. So I'm just busy doing this one now. Uh, we've got the deep back boxes, which means there's loads of space for the wires, which is important as they're four mil uh, cables that I'm using here. Flying leads from the back boxes, I know it's not really necessary because the back boxes are earthed from the armour anyway, but I just thought I'd do that, might as well belt and braces type thing. A little bit annoying thing here is I'm having to tape up these um, black and grey conductors as the neutral and the earth because I don't have any sleeving that will fit over. So let me know what you would do about that. Do you know somewhere to get large sleeving? Or would you use heat shrink? Or would you just do it like I've done it? It's just quite labor intensive, taping it up each time. But anyway, so far, so good.